my name is Kara. Today I will be showing you how to write a check using one of our clip art items from our website and Microsoft PowerPoint. You can see in the background that we did have a slide play where you're able to see the entire check be written. And what we'll be working with is a blank check. Now this is just one of our shorter templates that we have. It's just the leftover from a simple swoosh. We have our check in place and the first step is to be adding text boxes. So let's go ahead and click insert. We'll insert a text box. And in this case we'll be drawing our text boxes. Alright, so now we have our first text box written and now we're going to move it down into the check. Notice how it's a little bit large and it doesn't look like it actually matches the other styles on the check. So what we'll do from here is modify the text to be able to fit the check's text a little bit better. So let's go ahead and select something a little bit more conservative. We'll go with the Arial. And then notice how it still has all these lowercase. Go ahead and select them all by clicking and dragging. Click on font and you'll notice that you get the font characteristics open up. Click on small caps. This will enable you to still use capitalization but it will use a smaller set of font for the lowercase letters. We're also going to go ahead and shrink this down. Size 11 looks about practical for our uses. And I'm going to go ahead and just get this moved into position. All right, I have gone ahead and added the fields for the rest of the standard text boxes you can see here in the background. What I'll be doing next is adding the text boxes that we'll be using for our date as well as our signature line. Today's date is July 6th, 2012. So what we'll do is start by entering July 6th and then we're going to zoom in to make sure that we can see exactly how we're positioning this. Now we're going to move it very slowly over to the right space it out, and then enter our 12. Notice again, this font is much larger than what we need, so go ahead and shrink it down until the font fits what you would like it to match up with. All right, that's much closer. put a comma in and then move our text box just a little to the left here. There we go. Alright, so now we have our date set in place as well as the rest of the check. It's now time to add the signature line. Now notice I'm just copying over this text box, which is what I'm using on each of these locations. You're more than welcome to insert a new text box on your own. However, for our case here, this works just as well. I'm going to go ahead and remove the small caps so now my name appears normal. Notice it does not look like a signature however. So what you can do is go through your fonts and look for a font that is called a script font. We have something called the brush script. There's also quite a few other options available to us. In our particular case we'll be using what's called the freestyle script. I increased the size of the font so it's more similar to how an actual signature would appear. And upon further analysis, it looks like this is not quite how a signature would look, at least not one of mine. So let's go ahead and check for a different font that could be available to us. All right, here we go. This script will work out much more efficiently for us and it will look much more like an actual signature. And now we have everything in place. The next step is to go ahead and animate each of these items and that will be on the next tutorial right after this one.